Highland News Midday Update is sponsored by Soldier to Soldier Hawaii Realty. Happy Friday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Pagano with your Island News Midday Update. An update for you on a motorcycle crash in Kunia. A man operating a Kawasaki bike has died. And according to HPD's traffic division, a 28-year-old man was listed in critical condition after being struck by a pickup last night on Kunia Road near Hawaii Country Club. He was taken to Queens West in critical condition but was later pronounced dead. Also, another update for you at midday. Police say a missing IAEA woman has been located. Police say 79-year-old Lucille Biven suffers from dementia and needs daily medication. Now she went missing from her home yesterday afternoon, but was located this morning in the Moanalua area and is now safe with family. Well, the FCC approves a measure allowing internet service providers to block and throttle online traffic and also charge access fees for certain websites. Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard stopped by Good Morning Hawaii with more on how this could impact Hawaii. Folks who on the neighbor islands, for example, rely solely on high-speed internet access for educational opportunities, for uh, telehealth, being able to access specialty health care needs that they don't normally have, for entrepreneurial opportunities, you know, where there are limited access to jobs. Now Gabbard goes on to say the FCC's decision to repeal net neutrality is devastating for our community, impacting all sectors. But there's congressional action to overrule this regulatory decision the FCC has made. Well, if you missed this morning's Cakey Cast, you missed a dance party. Take a look. That's right. That right there, nine-year-old Rain Doy. Rain Doy, who was not only this morning's cake guester, but danced his way through forecasting. And he's been on TV before on speaker commercials. So good times there. Have a great day.